and welcome to my first vlog here in Belgium. I just got back uh, to the apartment from school and this is my uh, second week in school actually. So we've been here for about three weeks already. Today is February 3rd and we arrived here in, when was it? The 13th of January, I think. So it's at actually yeah it's actually three weeks um today i really wanted to start this vlog a little bit earlier but when we arrived in belgium we had to stay in quarantine for about seven days and then we had to go and test us again and stay in quarantine until we got uh negative results back but we were in quarantine for a little bit over than a week and after quarantine, um, my skin started to act up a little bit. Every time I fly, my skin usually gets very irritated and super dry. It's like kind of like eczema. So uh, I didn't really want to vlog because my skin was super bad. It was like the hydrating barrier in my skin was like not working at all. So it was super dry. I finally got that covered. If you want to see how my, f my skin uh, recovered, then please let me know. I'll show you the products um, I used. If you really struggle with dry skin and irritated skin, I can go ahead and recommend you some products if you want. Yeah, so that is basically why I didn't start this vlog earlier. But I really want to start like weekly vlogs so you can see how my everyday life here in Belgium is going and I really want to vlog also because I want to show my family uh, what I'm up to here in Belgium and how school's going and everything. Yeah, I, I think school is going very well actually. It's super different from how we um do school in norway so i'm doing this program called crossing borders and the school that i go to is called carol de Groot. it's so weird to say it in, in english um but i can't say it in dutch either so um i'll put the name around here somewhere <laughs> that's the school that i go to and the lessons are very like it's not normal lessons where you hear uh, a teacher talk about all this theory stuff. It's like being a part of a discussion. So you're always participating in the lessons. So there's a lot of like interaction between uh, us students. I feel like I learn a lot here. I, I mean, I've never learned so much in such a short period of time. I think school is actually very fun and very interesting. I'm just very excited about it for the first time in a very long time even though we do have very long days it doesn't feel like it because you're always like doing something and uh, you have all of these different projects uh, through the day so the time really flies here so yeah that's just my little update of how I'm doing in school currently and now I don't really know what to say if you're interested in watching these vlogs, please uh, subscribe to my channel so you know when I post and like this video. Yeah, so now the vlog can continue. I thought maybe it could be kind of fun to show you guys the apartment, kind of like an apartment tour. So keep on watching if you want to see that. This is the main entrance and here's my apartment. When you walk inside, this is what you see. Please don't mind this part right here. That's all trash. <laughs> this is where we can put our shoes and everything. And if someone rings at the door or something, um, you can you can see them through a camera downstairs here so you can always see who's calling up to your apartment or something and then we have this first door over here um it's not nothing fancy and we actually don't have a place to hang up our jackets so this is actually the place where we keep our luggage and everything so we basically just put <laughs> our jackets in here it's just basically a, a storage room and then you come to the second door which is this one right here and this is the bathroom 
So the bathroom is okay. It's a very nice and okay shower. It's actually a lot bigger than it looks. The wall colors aren't really, yeah, I mean, you can, you can see for yourself. And of course you have the toilet, nothing fancy. Don't really need to show you that. That is the bathroom. And then from the entrance, so you can see directly into the living room area. And then we have this next door to our right here. And this is the bedroom. And the ceiling also in this apartment is actually very high. It's a very high ceiling. And here I just use like this rack thing to, um, to store all of my clothes and other random stuff. Here's where I store most of my makeup, my jewelry. So yeah, that is the bedroom. And then we have the living room area. As you can see, a huge television. No, but it's actually quite okay um, since the couch is so close to the TV anyway. A first world problem, I guess. We brought the PlayStation and we have our Switch over there, Nintendo Switch. So we have enough entertainment at home at least. And here you have what we call like the working space slash breakfast slash dinner. Here's my boyfriend, Aaron. This is his working space right now. Yes. Here we have the kitchen area. And the best part of the apartment, I think, is like the huge window. Even though there's only one window, it's so big that it really just it really just lights up the whole whole apartment really. And here we have our fridge. It's not so big, but it's big enough. And this one is actually like a microwave and an oven in one. So it's kind of cool. A little bit confused to how it works, but Aaron has it figured out, so I don't wanna dabble into that too much. Yeah, I think it's a great kitchen actually. It's just perfect for it. Is it uh, that big obviously, but it's big enough for me and for Aaron. So he's actually just here to visit me. So he's gonna stay here for about two months and then he's gonna go back home. But I mean, he only has a digital school. So I mean, it doesn't really matter where he is. So he can come and visit me quite often, I hope. But yeah, so this is actually my um, makeup area. <laughs> Isn't really ideal, I know, but this is the only place that we have like natural lighting and a window. So I think it's just fine for me. Yeah, so that's it for the apartment tour. I don't really know what else to say or what else to show you. But we live in a great area. We're quite in the center of Antwerp. So we have everything quite accessible to us. Today it's kind of gloomy and rainy, but so I'm very happy with the apartment. So that was the apartment tour and I don't know what else to say. So I guess I'll just end it here. But if there's any more uh, things to vlog today, I'll vlog. I don't think we're gonna be doing that much today because they just got home from school and I'm super tired. Um, the only thing I think we're gonna be doing today is just go grocery shopping. So if you want to follow us, do our grocery shopping, please stay tuned. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's it for now. Right now, I'm sitting here and trying to edit one of my YouTube videos on a macbook air and it's honestly a living hell i don't know how i'm supposed to 
make my YouTube videos because it's honestly so hard to edit on a MacBook. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take a break and go grocery shopping. result okay so we just got done grocery shopping and we decided to make burgers for dinner and you probably saw that I had to wait outside of the grocery store because here in Belgium it's actually super strict um, for people to go shopping uh, like me and Aaron can't go both in one shop so one have to wait outside and only one of us can go inside and do the actual shopping it's due to corona and everything but at least we got it done since we still don't know how this thing works um we're just gonna go ahead and order fries because me or aaron um like we don't really want to dabble in this thing here because we don't really understand how it works Inside, it's like a normal. Ew, no, don't look at that. Like on the inside, it looks like a normal microwave. So, to put fries in here, like we don't have anything to put the fries on, like a pan or anything. I don't really want to take a chance on this one. I forgot what I was supposed to say. But, um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, make the burger. See you later. It's 
the next day, I have a Teams meeting with um, my school. It's currently 9 o'clock and I have to get ready because the meeting starts at 10. So I thought that I would just put on some makeup. <laughs> some breakfast first because I don't know if we have to be on camera or not and I don't really want to eat on camera and I need my breakfast so yeah <music> So currently it's 3 o'clock and I have to get my photo taken for me for me to be able to take um, like it's called a Mobib card it's like a card to access the, the trams and everything the trams, buses, metro and things so now we're headed to the central station because that's the nearest way to do it He doesn't want to go with you anymore.
unfortunately we weren't able to take my photos for the Mobib card because in the booth where I was supposed to take my photo they don't accept payment cards but only cash so that was a bit annoying so we went to a shop to buy myself a computer mouse so that I can edit a little bit easier because right now editing on a MacBook Air is absolutely horrible <laughs> and now we're on our way to the grocery store to buy some stuff for dinner so yeah shopping and I found myself some sunnies and I found these from mango and I really like them yeah so now we are just gonna go ahead and make some dinner and just chill at home really so and I don't know if I have something more to vlog I'll go ahead and vlog it but if not I'll see you tomorrow